What's going on, everyone? I am Bob O'Mac, and today on Crisis in the Toyverse, I look at NECA's Mad About You 2-pack. And boy, can I just tell you, Helen Hunt has really let herself go. Doesn't she look ugly? All joking aside, this, of course, is the NECA 30th Anniversary of Aliens 2-pack, featuring Carter J. Burke and the Xenomorph Warrior. I'm very happy with this two-pack, and yes, I know I made the Mad About You reference, but now I really am hoping that we can get a Helen Hunt figure by NECA to make a, well, a little homage to Mad About You. Okay, enough with that. I'm not even a big Mad About You fan. I just had to throw that in there. So we got another Alien uh, set to review here. Um, not a whole lot new to talk about. Uh, we got a new sculpt for a new human figure. I believe the alien sculpt is based off the big chap design. I could be wrong, but this one looks a little different than the battle damage one, but I'll talk about that more in a bit. I have to say, like I always do, NECA always hitting it out of the park with their sculpting and detailing. Both these guys are loaded with some great details and the sculpting here is fantastic. Let's go ahead and look at Burke first here. That stupid expression on his face. And apparently there's a hair or something. Don't know what that's from. And it's still on camera. Oh my god. Okay, I think I got it off. That sculpt looks pretty good if I say so myself. He's got this, like I said, a dumb expression on his face. Uh, sculpted very nicely. Definitely looks like the actor. Oh, I can appreciate that. Let me zoom in here so you can see what I'm talking about. What a horrible expression. For a man who doesn't have long to live. Now, as far as the other details, the shirt is done very nicely, and I've said it before, but I always appreciate, like, flannel and BDU, like, paint apps on a figure, because they look very tedious and very hard to do. But on here, it's done very nicely. Even his jackets, you can see the nice sewing details on it, the collar with the buttons. You even got the, like, side parts right here sculpted very nicely. Uh, the flesh tones look great. We got fingernails. I'm not a big fan of these pants, to be quite honest with you, but I understand it's a necessity for the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, for the articulation to maintain the sculpt, so I'm totally cool with that, and uh, his shoes look pretty good, and yes, he does have peg holes at the bottom. So let's set him aside for a moment, and let's talk about the alien itself. Let's move the camera around, zoom in on that head. The head looking very clean and crisp. The detail on it, what we've come to expect and know from NECA, so no complaints there. Teeth looking very good. You open the jaw. Let's see if I can pull this out. This is always the hard part for me, is pulling out the mini mouth. But the mini mouth does pull out, so no problems there. That looks very good as well. And, you know, just the overall design with the uh, translucent chrome dome through the rest of the figure, including the tail and uh, the lower body, all looking very, very good, if I say so myself. And yes, as you can see in the background, I've been playing around with the Aliens design here. So let's go ahead and set this guy back, and uh, let's talk about the accessory. That's right, the Hadley's Hope. Have a nice day, uh, unless you're in the Alien verse. It's about to be a very bad day. Uh, the detail on this is very good. Uh, lettering looks great. Uh, not much to really else talk about. I guess the tin on the side looks pretty good, or aluminum. And then it's just flat on the back. But even that's got detail. So awesome that they included this little set. I don't have many alien figures, so um, I'm sure I'll use it in a diorama or something. But... Not much other use for it, in my opinion. So, let's cover articulation on Burke here. Um, the head on a ball peg can go up and down. Now, I will let you guys know I did heat this up with boiling water to get the articulation to work a little better. You may have to do the same. It's just something I wanted to note. Uh, the arms go out. They go down. Spin all the way around. Ball peg at the hand, which allows great uh, movement. Single bend at the elbow with the swivel. It's got a lower diaphragm joint. That works pretty well. You're not going to have any issues there. Burke can do the splits. No questions asked. Bend at the knee. And you got a ball peg at the foot. Um, it's a little limited because of the sculpt of the shoe. 
in the pants, but you can definitely make it work. Now, as it relates to the Xenomorph here, let me zoom back out. Standard articulation that I've covered plenty of times, ball peg that kind of shifts. Uh, it can turn side to side. Um, if you remove the peg hole in the back, you do have more, a little bit more range of motion. And of course, this is articulated as long with the jaw. You got a diaphragm joint that allows a whole bunch of fun stuff. Uh, ball hinge at the arm, double bend at the elbow with the swivel, rotation and hinge at the hand, and a point of finger articulation. This alien as well can do the splits. Uh, it's got a thigh cut up here that works. Double bend at the knee, swivel action, ball peg right here, uh, up and down motion, and toe articulation. And yes, this alien, and that just, wow, that was a close one, guys. That almost just broke on me. Do you have a bend at the tail? So you can get a lot of range of motion out of that. And uh, makes for fun dynamic posing. So that's going to cover it for these guys. Let's do a size comparison and go from there. All right, guys. So here is our size comparison. As you can see, the two aliens fit in well. The human characters fit in well with each other. They all look great together in one big happy neck of family. So... Maybe that gives you an idea if you want to buy this or not. I don't know if it helps you that much, but just so you can see how everyone stacks up together and they fit in pretty well, in my opinion. So my final thoughts are as follows. I don't know if this two packs a necessary need for everyone. I bought it because I definitely dug the uh, Burke figure. Um, as it relates to the alien, it's a standard alien. The articulation's great on it, but if you have several already, I don't know if you'll want this figure and as for the sign it is the only accessory in this set so if you were expecting something more you will be disappointed but i think the sign looks cool enough i think it's a fun display piece so i'm gonna say go ahead and pick it up and uh i know it's on pre-order right now at big bad toy stores so if you want head over there and see what's going on so i guess pick it up yeah i'm gonna say go for it so guys, thank you as always. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the likes, the shares, and even the comments. Never feel afraid not to comment, be it positive or negative. If, if I don't know what I'm doing, then I keep doing it. So I am always open to criticism. With that being said, I just want to give a few shout outs real quick. I want to thank the DTKC show. Always shout me out. Go check them out. Also, Head over to UndercoverCapes.com for all things geekiness. They got your hookup. Also, head over to at Toy Lover Crew and use the hashtag Toy Lover Crew on Instagram to share and engage in toy art. Thank you guys as always. Stay tuned at the end for the slideshow. And until next time, great googly moogly.